I can't make out what this truck is from a distance or what what kind of truck it is from a distance looks pretty crazy to me <laughs> somebody managed to drive it over here thing about this library to me is that they don't have any security <clears throat> I just saw a guy masturbating in the bathroom. I've never seen that before in a library. What clued me in was that he had his feet dangling right outside of the doors of the toilet room area. So he was sitting with straight legs with his feet just dangling out. So I just took a little peek inside while I was walking by and there he was sitting with his, himself holding himself, looking at something on his iPhone. And all, I checked, all the, all the porn sites are blocked. So I don't know, what, you know, he must know something that that the librarians and I don't know the tech guys I think that's only coming from one bell. Alright, well I seem to be in a routine of going back and forth quite a bit here from Walmart to the library. I'm just, I'm a, a little just a little hesitant about moving on to another city because I well I want to check out a food bank today and I'm just I'm not really in a rush to get anywhere anyway it's supposed to be another hot one today I'd rather just sit in the library uh, today to get through the hot day today today I mean I was convinced last week that 
you know the hot days were over but I gotta stop you know I gotta get out of that mind frame but it, it looks like today's gonna be the end of another hot streak and it's supposed to be pretty cool for the next few days but that's not to say that it's not gonna get hot again but it, it just has me moving at a slower pace going in a southerly direction so southeast direction I'm doing it slowly but I don't, I don't know really I don't know if it makes much sense all right because ele um, elevation also affects the temperature and I think that Salt Lake City might be I don't I don't know even know it, it's just it's not gonna be much different temperature wise so it's it's hard for me to say um, if if my pace is is really that effective. I I lean towards saving gas as as best I can with my pace. So a slower pace is gonna help with saving gas, and that makes more sense to me. But yeah, I, I don't wanna. I don't want to make too big of a presence in any particular city where I start recognizing people too much. Um, but yeah, then it's 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 pretty easy to blend in around here. There's a lot of people who who like to draw attention to themselves around here. It's it's a little disturbing in, in a lot of ways. Um, just just uh. Uh, however you describe it, um, uh, people who who want to just just draw attention to themselves, play their music loud, and and yell at other people across the street, and and wear crazy clothes or hair hairstyles or or tattoos all or rings all over them, um, like they're misfits. There's a lot of misfits in this in this city uh, it's it's concerning to me um, and I try to I, I try to avoid them as best I can um, I also oh yeah I was thinking about bicycling over to that the apartment complex where the rape occurred of the five-year-old girl uh, I was a little surprised I finally looked at it on the map I was a little surprised to see that it was it was closer to the ridge than I, I expected. I was thinking, you know, after after kind of bicycling around the city, that that rape would have occurred closer to the library, but much much closer to the ridge, the very ridge, the commercial episode, you know, the the draw for the city. There's an apartment complex around there. That I guess might be kind of a ghetto area. They got they got a lot of refu. They, they might well they got some refugees. It's like it seems like it's a pocket, a pocket of residents, and they're just yeah. There's there's problems going on over there. That I really thought they would be the problem would be more on the south side because it looks like there's just a lot of misfits around the south side around the library area that's that's a concern I didn't think the concern would be so much around the, the north side um, but that's you know that's that's just shows that there is a concern throughout the whole city pretty much that's they're trying to evenly spread out the problems as best they can <clears throat> Now, I, I pretty much know where I'm going so I've, I'm gotten into a routine of going back and forth here because I, I don't I don't feel comfortable sleeping anywhere around the library in this city so I'm, I'm, I'm making a, a, a like a journey back and forth of what three miles it's Walmart's Walmart and the library are about three miles. It's nice that the library is open from 9 to 9, but it's not so nice that there's nowhere to exercise in peace. 
So it's like I really am sitting around being lazy and my health isn't uh, going really good. This morning, you know, the library opens at 9. This morning I want to go to the, to the park, which is right next to the library. I said I wanted to go to the food bank, but I also... I also want to cook some food. I'd like to. I'd like to cook some greens a little bit. <clears throat> there is a library. There is a uh, park right next to the library, but uh, man, it's very wide open. You know, it doesn't look like you can com comfortably cook in peace in that park. There's a lot of people that go through it this early in the morning. I might find some peace. But I'm not too hopeful for that. I think I'm gonna just have to do some cooking with with uh, with gawkers. And it would probably be some gawkers. That's just uh, the problem, the risk that you have to take. I'm sure it's not illegal or anything. It's just you gotta deal with people walking by and whatever distractions. But I, I'm really. I'm really interested in cooking some greens. I, I could really go for some cooked greens. <clears throat> and then, yeah, I'll get whatever I can at the Salvation Army, the Sally. Uh, the, there might be something to cook from there. I might have to turn it down, I'm not sure. It depends. If they're eggs, I don't know. I'd be interested in eggs, but I'm not sure. Swenson's, the store that feels like home? Wow. You can't see it on camera, it's on the left, but uh, they don't allow you to bring your bag in. That doesn't feel like home to me. It's the only store I know that you, you can't come in with your bag. <laughs> Even the Walmart next to the high school says nothing about bringing your bag in. I was walking around with my bag on this morning at Walmart. I, you know, I don't know how their security is, but I assume it's got to be good if they, they could just let us walk around with our bags on. I was doing shopping, I went to the bathroom in the back because the one on the front was closed. Yeah, I really want to cook though, that's, that's the big thing. There's bathrooms in the park, you can get water, I can get some water and then <clears throat> boil the water and and then make my cookings so oh I wanna turn take a right on fourth this bike shop I'm very interested in hitting I got a new I got a thick tube at Walmart for twelve dollars but I, I'd like a new tire too I'd like to sit on a new tire, maybe keep a new tire in the car. One that's not one of those foldables, I think. I gotta replace, well no, I gotta replace the back tire. Cause that's, that's falling apart. Probably, wow, I probably want to get two tires. Actually, now that I, now that I think about it. <clears throat> Cause the front tires are starting to go flat easier, it seems, so. Oh, I got somebody behind me. So much driving. Oh, there's another dude. This is a path for a lot of people, I guess. I just want to drive, take my... I just want to take my time driving, but you got these people who are in such a rush. It pushes me to move faster. Stop harder at the stop signs and accelerate faster after I stop. people are in such a rush they leave at the last minute to get to work all right yeah here's the Salvation Army it's just a short walking distance from the library so nine o'clock so I don't see anybody in line it's it's almost eight I'm not sure if people get in line it's like it's open from Tuesday to Friday though from like 8 to 12 it's it's got some long hours long days so maybe there isn't so much of a line that needs to form <clears throat> this is a heck of a dip
but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty deep in the city. I got somebody who's on me right behind me, like two feet behind my car right now. Yeah, they're probably getting a little edgy about the the, st the goal lights here. I always get edgy seeing these these type of things. I like seeing this countdown timer. <laughs> Oh man, these roads, they're really, they're really not smooth. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, this guy is following me at every turn. And he goes over opposite the on side of the road. So I'm just trying to use barricades to, to to hide the cooking, pretty much. What I'm just doing is though is cook, is boiling water, and I'll bring that boiling water in this container back to the car, uh, and mix in the grains that can handle that that do a better job cooking. Usually it's what the flattened oats. I think I'll throw some barley in there. Things that are like flattened for the five-minute cooking. So I could I couldn't do, you know, boiling water with rice or the, yeah the corn or I'm not too confident with the millet either. I think the millet, those little millet pebbles would need to be cooked more thoroughly uh, than just boiling up water and and pouring it. But uh, that's you know I'm not I'm not really interested in doing any serious cooking um, in this area. It's just. There's just too many people around. I can't stand it. I also say that it was really hot last night, even in, a, in the Walmart parking lot, and even till midnight. It was just it was hot enough to make it uncomfortable to sleep. So I imagine the summertime around here it sure must have drove people out. And there's no way you could sleep in the Walmart parking lot in the summer. Nobody there. <clears throat> oh, I see, okay. Shopping carts and stuff. Okay, the food bank doesn't open until 10.30. The administration office opens at 9. So what it says is on the internet, it's a, internet says 9 o'clock. But they're going by the administration office. So that, that could use a uh, fix some kind. <clears throat> but I don't know how that works, so nothing I can do. Looks like something like 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 one of those cooking mobile cooking units here. How they kinda yeah, that pipe thing is maybe an exhaust for a uh, stove. <laughs> <laughs>